Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about hero or game changing products. These are things that I've been using for a little while. Some of them are new. Actually a few of them are new. Most of them are new. <laughs> <laughs> but they have changed the game for me and I wanted to share them. Some of them you have seen in previous favorites or fails, but just knowing that I'm still using them and knowing that they make this huge difference for me when I'm applying my makeup, I think says a lot. So I wanna share them with you and uh, tell you what these things are and how great they are and my personal humble opinion. The first item I'm gonna talk about is from Laura Mercier. There's actually two in this um, little basket over here from Laura Mercier. I can't get enough of this blush. I am so in love with it. And I think that whether you like a powder blush or a liquid or a cream, you are going to like this blush. This is a new formula from Laura Mercier. This was sent to me in PR and it is called the Cream Cheek Color and the shade that I absolutely love is Praline. I have been wearing this almost nonstop. I cannot get enough. I don't know if you can see, like it's all dirty around the edges of this and it's even on the mirror because I take <laughs> this brush right here. <laughs> it's like all frayed out because I'm like, give me the blush and I'm like putting it on my cheeks. And that's how I apply it, is just stamping it on and building it up. The color goes with everything. So it's not gonna matter if you're wearing a big colorful eye like I have right now, which if you're interested, it'll be up soon, or if you're going for something natural, bronzy, whatever, this is amazing. I absolutely love this formula and the shade. I'm gonna quickly show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like built up. It's like this peachy nude. It's more natural than peachy. Like I don't get a huge pink tone on my face. You might get a little more of that peachiness if you're not wearing powder, but again, I am. The consistency of this product and the thickness of it, it's not thick on the skin, but the, the thickness of the actual product makes it to where you can easily stamp it on top of your foundation, on top of your powder. It's not gonna move it around. There are other shades of this. If this is not your cup of tea, they have other colors, but this is definitely the bee's knees for me. And I have, I just, I have to talk about this more and more because this is my go-to. It's in a little compact, so I don't have to worry about putting it on my hand and then getting the product all on the brush and then putting it on my face. It's, it's just so easy. And while I have other cream blushes that I really, really enjoy, I would say this is the best formula-wise. It's not too like shiny, it's not too matte, it's just skin-like. It is gorgeous. The other Laura Mercier product, again, sent to me, is a powder, and you guys know how much I love my powders. I really do. I have started using creams on top of powders, but, 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 I'm mad about this because I can't use it. <laughs> I have used it a few times, and I've asked, people have asked me, what lighting did you use to create this effect, or did you do something in Photoshop? Yes, I do edit my pictures, but the glow, I don't add in glow. I don't even know if you can do that, but I don't add in glow. This powder right here is just off the charts perfection. The only reason why I can't use it is because it has Z Maze cornstarch in here. Yes, I know, it's not the baking kind, but that tends to break me out. However, I like this so much that I've kind of just been putting it on one day at a time. I did get a pimple here and here, and I was like, dang it. I got one underneath my <laughs> bangs. I was like, maybe that's, you know, my hair product. I know it's from this, but I don't care. I will be using this just randomly because of how beautiful it is. It is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder light catcher and the shade that i like is celestial light you guys know that i i kind of collect highlighting powders there's one from Giorgio armani that's not made anymore and it gave a beautiful pink glow to my forehead i used to call it my forehead glow powder this one hold on let me i'm gonna put it on this is what it looks like color wise and i will show you up against the lawn comb because initially that is what i thought of was the lawn comb powder because it kind of does the same thing but the textures are different 
And this one is just, a, it's a little bit more impressive and it comes in other shades, but this one matches me a little bit better. Uh, anyway, A23 from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ooh, I'm about to be so glowy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on my forehead. So I'm gonna lift up my bangs. I'm gonna shake off some of this powder and just watch. Do you see that? Do you see the magical glow? Like what the heck? And it is smooth. It is so smooth. It's not sitting here adding texture to my skin. Now I know I have bangs going on today, but I'm gonna lessen that just a little bit. This is a Nikki, a Nikki Joy, where's the number? F05. Put those back down. And then I'm gonna add a little tiny, tiny bit to my face. And I'm not even gonna pick up any excess. Well, maybe I will, so you guys can see. Oh, let's bring it a little further back. It is absolute, utter perfection. And I, I use the tiniest, tiniest amount, and it just glows. So if you're looking for something that is going to make your face just have this glowy like filter, but it's not gonna add a ton of texture, oh my gosh, this is it. This is absolutely it. It's a ring light in a container. That's what it is, it's a ring light in a container. I have another powder for you. <laughs> this, this is really becoming something that is tried and true for me. And I noticed, I recently did a video where I was doing my eyes. So I did several different looks and I didn't keep on the powder that I was using underneath my eyes before I like did them. And then because I was going to be filming with that particular eye look, I used this. There's a huge difference in the smoothness. I mean, it's so beautiful. I do think that Jacqueline needs to uh, come up a little bit, just like maybe four more, <laughs> four more palettes, because this one right here is uh, light medium, I think. Anywho, these powders create the most beautiful, brightened under eye. Now, I am going to mix this one and this one. Oh, it's a lot. And I'm just gonna apply this. I want you to see, do you see how much smoother this side is now? Just in comparison to the other and brighter. Ooh, it's bright. I gotta take, it's so pretty. Of course, I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the other side, but this, this powder is like, I don't know how to describe it. There's just something that makes it look filtered again not shiny at all. It's like a no texture under eye brightener, or you can use it to just go over your pores or to set your concealer. Um, I feel like I got a little light <laughs> from those powders, so I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of the blush that I was using. Put praline, <laughs> so I can warm up my skin a little bit again. If you're looking for something that's not gonna dry out your skin, but it's gonna make it look just super smooth, it's this. And by the way, this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics, uh, what is this called? Brightening and Setting Palette. It works wonders, and it has so many different shades in here. Whenever I have something that like, if I get a little discoloration somewhere, I'll go in with a color that will counteract it, and that helps so much. And she does have two other palettes, but I think that she needs a, like four more. That's the one critique I have to give her. She needs four more, but the formulation on this is, she, she perfected it. It is absolute perfection. Speaking of under eyes, we gotta talk about a new concealer. I have been wearing this nonstop since I got it. And I am just like, oh, but she was so expensive. This is expensive. It is expensive. I don't know quite yet if it is worth the price tag because it's the new Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer. It's supposed to have skincare properties in there. So I don't know quite yet if it like truly does. If I see a change in my under eye, I will let you know, but I haven't been using it long enough to know if the skincare is doing any good. But having a product underneath my eyes that has skincare in it all day long, I like that, I like that. I'm still not convinced about the $90 price tag being the right price tag, but at the same time, if when I go out of this, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna repurchase. Like the blushes, $90 for those blushes is just, Mm -mm. But this, there's just something that looks so good. 
I would suggest this to somebody combo like myself, oily or normal. I feel like the consistency of this, while it is a little bit more radiant and it definitely hydrates, if you put powder over top of it and you are dry, it doesn't look the best. But I've heard opposite opinions. Some people love it. I've heard in my comment section that I have dry eyes, dry skin, and it looks amazing. But then I've heard, no, it wasn't for me. So I'm not really sure about dry skin, but combo, normal, and oily. If you're looking for something that's gonna stay in place, make your under eye look so smooth with or without that Jaclyn powder, the new Tom Ford Concealer. Shade and Illuminate. Is there anything else to it? Does it say anything else? Nope, it's just the concealer. And I have shade number three, CO Tool. I didn't know which one to get, so I just went with a pinker undertone. It's not really pink, but it does counteract anything that I have underneath my eyes. It's just, oh, it's so good. Let me swatch this for you so you guys can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I want you to see the creaminess of it. So that's that. And I still love my, oh, it's so good. I still love my Giorgio Armani. Do you see how that's going on my hand? And like over those lines, it just kind of helps everything look really, really nice. And it's a really good coverage. It's more than my power fabric for certain. I'll still be grabbing my power fabric from Giorgio Armani when I don't want as much coverage. But the nice thing is when I want to add a little bit of coverage somewhere, I can take that one and go because I have spots right here that, you know, I prefer not to have. So I can kind of color correct with that particular color that I got from Tom Ford. I have two game changing brushes, one of them from Refer and one of them from Sonia G. The one from Refer is the 28. I keep saying I need to buy more and I really do. I need to buy more and more and more and more. This is kind of in between. Let me get the refer number two, which is similar to the original MAC 239 with the natural hairs. Now MAC has gone to synthetic, so if you like synthetic, that's great, but for me, it just doesn't do the same thing. Like that, It doesn't apply the same with the this brush here. This one is a mixture between natural and synthetic fibers, and it is the refer number 21. Both of them I love, but for very different reasons. And you can see that this one has a different longer shape to it and it is thinner. This one puts metallics on like a dream. This one I prefer to put on mattes or things like that on my lid. This one is thinner than the two, not as thin as the 21. And it has a slightly smaller shape than the 21, but just slightly. And I can put on mattes or metallics, but what is so nice about this shape is that I can get all the way up into my crease and then slightly blend out because I've been trying to not have a super defined crease. I know I do today, but when I'm applying certain shades and I just want to press them up over my eyelid and into the crease and slightly up, these are okay, this is the bomb. I love this and I dare to say that I love it more than the 21. This is one of my favorite brushes in my entire collection. I use it all the time. But this is kind of like both of these in one brush. They, they were onto something whenever they did this. This is just, oh, I love it. I love this brush. And you can do your brows, you can do your entire lid, you can get right on the inner corner, you can use the tip of it to do your lower lash line. It's I could do just about everything other than blending in my crease with that brush. Speaking of doing everything, the Sonia G Mini Base. Now, I got this originally with the Kiaki set, and it's small. Well, she re-released it with the Fusion set, and then I ended up kind of switching over from uh, using a sponge to using all brushes. That's when I realized just how much I liked this brush. I already liked it, but now it is an all-in-one, but I use it for my concealer the most. I, I just find that putting on my concealer and I can get this right up against my inner corner, go right up against my lashes, and then blend out really, really easily. I can then take my Sonia G towel, wipe it off on there, 
do my foundation. Well, I would do my foundation first, so reverse that. I could wipe it off again, do cream bronzer, and then I could wipe it off again, set my face, and then use it for blush. It's an all-in-one brush almost, and it's so soft. It also has dual fibers, and I just, there's something about the softness of this. It doesn't feel itchy on my skin. I can't stand it when I'm making this motion right here to blend something out and it feels stabby or itchy scratchy. It gets on my nerves. I don't like it at all. But this does not feel like that. And it's just, you can use it for so many things. So I have, <laughs> hold on. There's a bunch of them that are cleaned right now. Uh, there's these three. Um, the one that I just showed you. And then I have another one. Oh, that's not it. Here's the other one. And then I think I used another one today. I did. It's in my dirty cups. <laughs> that's how many of these I have. It is nuts. I just love them. And I, I don't know how I lived without it. I really don't know how I lived without it. I'm kidding. But I love that brush. Coming down to the last two products, both of which are for the eyes. Pat, you have something here, you have something here, you have something here. This artistry wand I talked about in my favorites last month, and I still am just like, if you're having troubles with celestial shades, the tougher shades or little glitters, like the ones that are actually okay for the eyes, not the really big chunky glitters, or any metallics, this you click up like, so I'm not going to click it up too much because it doesn't click down. It's clear and it creates a slightly tacky base. You can put it on top of your primer. So if I was doing this entire eye, but I wanted this shade to be a little bit more intense, I could take this, go right across my eye and then put my shadow on top of that. I don't have to make it wet. I don't have to do anything and it would adhere and it would not move. It makes everything more intense and it also truly helps with those glittery shades. Like um, the ones from Tom Ford, the ones from Charlotte Tilbury, even Wayne Goss. I mean, if I wanted to, I just put this all over my lid and then just tap it out and I would have the most sparkly, effortless eye. This is great because you don't have to get a brush and the other product and then, you know, mix it together or you, it's just not a fuss. It's literally just swipe and put on. It's so easy. The texture is really, really nice. It holds on and I just, I don't know why any, I don't, well, maybe somebody else has thought of it before, but I have not seen it. I think this is innovative and I think that a lot of people could benefit from using this. This. And again, it is the Pat McGrath Intensifies Artistry Wand. The last product is my Milk Boss Liner Replacement. To this day, as I'm filming and I'm <laughs> doing an end of a look, I still will have to edit out several times of me saying, I finished off my eyes with Milk Boss Liner on my top inner rim and then mascara. Ooh, it drives me nuts. Yes, I actually do still have a couple of the Milk Boss liners and I will use them up, but this is its replacement. Now, I was kind of curious because I have three of them and I didn't even realize that they came in different textures. So they come in metallic, which there's a bronze one. It's so beautiful. I like that one on my lid. It's beautiful. I like the brown one on my lid. This one in black is a satin formula and it just glides on that inner rim. I mean, no fuss about it. You don't have to go back and forth. You don't have to wait a few seconds and then put on a second layer. It's just there and it doesn't move. It doesn't move to the point that sometimes <laughs> If I have, I, I feel like I wash my face pretty well and like pretty diligent about it. And I, yeah, sometimes I don't get it all out of my inner rim. And I would be mad at that except for the fact that it goes on so easily and it stays all day that I don't care. I, I'm just like, I don't care. I use a little moisturizer on a Q-tip, get it right off and we're good. Let me just show you how nicely this goes on the skin. Can you guys see how black this is? It's so good. The only thing I want to warn you is that if you're going to use it for your top lashes, 
be careful, don't put too much pressure because it's a softer formula. I've never broken it when I'm using it on my inner rim. I'm not putting that much pressure on my inner rim first, but if you're using it and you're putting pressure, it's a soft formula and it can break, but again, I'm only using it for my inner rim. And I have to also say that I know you guys have been so sweet trying to give me replacements for my Milk Boss liner. And there's so many that I have tried that work really well in the waterline, but they have to be sharpened. And I like to sharpen my lip pencil, but I don't like to sharpen my inner rim pencil. I don't know why. A, I don't like the pointiness of it right away. I like the rounded tip that you usually end up getting with a twist up. And I just can't be bothered for the inner rim. I don't know what it is because I always sharpen my lip pencils, but I don't like to do that for the one that I put on my inner rim. I'll do it for the top just not the inner rim. I don't understand it myself. Anywho, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my hero products. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see all of you beauties in my next video. Bye guys.